My name is Ginger and I'm a priest with the Celtic Christian Church. As you may or might not know, the day, what day is today? It's one of those days, obviously. Tomorrow is Ash Wednesday and um, it's the beginning of Lent. So I thought maybe we could start our coffee break prayer with a psalm that's kind of a nice way to start Lent because it reminds us that we're needy, we do make mistakes, but yet God's mercy is sure and God's hope is ever available to us, often in ways we don't expect and from people we might not expect it from, but yes, God is always there for us. So let's begin um, as we always do in the name of the Father and of the Son. Holy Spirit. Amen. Take a deep breath to center ourselves in this moment. And let's share together a portion of Psalm 51. So we're going to do it in the old-fashioned style where you have the opportunity to quietly or even silently repeat one verse after I read, sort of like chorus and refrain, chorus and verse, chorus and verse kind of thing. So Psalm 51. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, in the greatness of your compassion. Wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Let's take another deep breath together. Center again. There's a lot in that psalm. By the way, that's Psalm 51, 5, 1. So if you, uh, if you want to Google it later, you can certainly Google it. You'll get a million different, maybe not a million, but maybe a dozen different translations. There's a lot in that. Even the little part of the psalm that we read, there's a lot to unpack. So my advice would be to just kind of let it roll over you. We're not meant to intellectually understand everything right away. Like anything we learn through process, through time, through listening, through, through speaking and talking dialogue and lecture, you know, all kinds of ways different people learn by touching and handling and building. So the same thing with prayer and with a life responsive to God kind of happens as you go along. We just kind of need to trust the process and trust the one who is guiding us. Trust the Lord, right? So, um, don't worry if the psalm sounded strange or didn't quite make sense. Another one will make sense to you. And again, there's just a lot in there. So be blessed, think things through, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Go and be blessed in the name of Abba, our Creator, Jesus, our Liberator, and the Spirit who is holy. And thank you again for taking this break with me.